this is my hardest fix ever, I think, so far. This is a boiler out of uh, 1921 uh, tugboat, steam-powered tugboat, and it's quite sloppy. It has quite a bit of sloppy soldering on it. And the guy used soft solder and hard solder. He used hard solder for these tubes because they're not coming loose. But he used soft solder on the sides and ends. Maybe a, just a low you know, quantity of silver in the solder. Maybe not plumbing solder, but definitely soft. And I'm using medium solder now to build up the fire tube. And he had originally cut the hole too short in his bottom plate so he didn't replace it. He just put a patch over it. So I made a new patch that fit nicely around the, the flue. And now I'm hard soldering this into place. But in here it's really difficult because I really don't want to loosen up these pipes. I'm going to have to re-solder them anyways, but definitely don't want to have them fall in or out. Uh, so I'm building up this solder in here, but it's very, very difficult, even with the jewelry torch, which is there. So uh, now I've cleaned it many times. We're going to clean it again and get some flux in underneath this edge here and then heat this area so that we can get some of the flux to run underneath when we put it on the edge here. Putting on too big of blob of flux will def or solder will definitely draw too much heat on thin brass and you'll end up burning a hole through it. So I haven't done that yet, knock on wood. And uh, I'll get back to this uh, and then show you guys the results with a pressure test. So hopefully it'll work out and uh, we'll get that boat running again. It's, uh, it runs, but it just had this leak from the soft solder around this area that the guy had done as a fix and uh, just couldn't stand up to even meth spirits. So uh, unfortunately this boat probably never ran a lot or it ran too much and it was repaired back in the 20s and 30s quite a few times, <laughs> much like we do today. Have a good day, guys. Bye.